I'll just ask you to fact check something for me very quickly, okay? Because I okay. I have this Noah's Ark um, toy. All right, so so <laughs> so so here's the Ark, right? Yeah, there, yeah. There's the Ark there. That's Noah, happy. Is, um, can I can I start straight away? White dude. Right. Yeah. So Noah was not white. No. Okay. Okay, carry on. So, okay. <laughs> well, I think that raises an obvious question about the elephants. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm wondering why is taking a historical approach to the Bible so controversial? It's controversial because when you do take a historical approach, so look at the archaeological evidence for events or people described in the Bible, it's very hard to find corroborating evidence to support the biblical claims about the past. Mount Everest, 1953, the year I was born. They got up here on Mount Everest. They began to find something interesting. Petrified clams on top of Mount Everest. In Peru a couple years ago, they found giant oysters up to 11 feet across, two miles above sea level. Here's a fossilized jellyfish. We have an arm to an octopus, fossilized octopus arm in our museum. Soft tissue simply doesn't fossilize under very special conditions are required. The Bible says the fountains of the deep broke open. So I think... The Ancient monuments deep underwater. A once thriving metropolis, now half a mile under the sea. Lost cities submerged for thousands of years. All over the world. There are sunken cities. There's more than 200 known sunken cities in the Mediterranean alone.